In this video, I'm just going to show you how to skin retouch and retain all the skin details in Photoshop. So before we start, if you're new on this channel, my name is Eustace and if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when I put up my next video, you will be notified. Let's do this. So this is the photo that I'm going to retouch and I want to retouch this photo as quick as possible. So I'm going to use my retouching actions pack. The link will be in the description below. So I'm going to make a copy of this background layer, Control J on the keyboard. And then I'm going to go to my actions and then I'm going to select the frequency separation action. So I do have a video about frequency separation and the frequency separation action. I'll put it in the description. You can just go and download it and use it. So this is going to pop up. I'm going to use this to control how soft I want a skin to be. So I'm going to zoom it in. Let me just close this. So I'll reduce the radius value to zero. And then I'll select a place that has a lot of textures. So let me go with this one. I'm going to start adding the radius until I stop seeing the textures, but I can still see the features of our face. So the radius of 10 is fine. And then I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to open the frequency separation folder. And then I'm going to select the low frequency here. And then I'm going to go on my tools and then I'll select the lesser tool. So I'm going to go on this tab. I'll change the feather to 20. So the reason why I selected the feather of 20 pixels is because I want when I make a selection like this. And then if I apply the blur, I want the blur to be 20 pixels outside my selection. So I'm going to go to filter and then I'm going to select blur and then I'm going to select Gaussian blur. And then I'm going to start pushing it up until I'm okay with how soft I want the skin to be. I'm going to go with the radius of 20 and then I'm going to place enter on the keyboard. I'll select this part. And then I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then okay. And then I'm going to select this part. I'll just use the shortcut to repeat the process that I did. Alt plus control plus F on the keyboard. So I'm going to select this part, Alt plus Control plus F on the keyboard. I'll select this part like this. And then I'm going to go to Filter, and then Blur, and then Gaussian Blur. I want to reduce the radius value. I don't want the nose to look flat. So I'm going to reduce this to 10 pixels. And then I'm going to click OK. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove the blemishes and the pimples from my face. So I'm going to go to the frequency separation folder and then I'm going to select the high frequency copy. And then I'm going to go to my tools and then I'm going to select the clone stamp tool. And then I'm going to make the brush bigger than the pimple or the blemish that I want to remove. I'm going to hold out on the keyboard and then I'm going to left click to sample and then I'll just paint on the pimple. I'll hold sample here and then I'll do that. So if I'm removing the pimples from this side, I'm going to sample from this side and then I'll paint like that. So I'm going to speed up this process. I'll see you when I'm done. So when I was removing the blemishes, I removed the skin textures as well. So I'm going to add back the skin textures. So I'm going to go to my actions and then I'm going to select uh, the skin textures. So this is going to pop up. So when I was shooting these photos, my main light was on the left side of my model. So I'm going to go on the light here and then I'll change top left and then I'll select this and then I'm going to click OK. This one is going to pop up. Just uh, click OK. And then the Gaussian blur is going to pop up again. Let me zoom it in. Uh, this is where you control how soft you want the textures to be. So I'm going to reduce the radius to zero. And then I'll start pushing it up. This is how soft I want the textures to be. So I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to go to Skin Texture Folder. And then I'm going to select the Skin Texture Layer Mask. And then I'm going to go on my tools. I'll select the brush. I'm going to go on the brushes here. And then I'll select the soft round brush. Then I'm going to 
press enter on the keyboard. Since the layer mask is black, I'm going to set the foreground color to white. And then I'll start painting where I want the textures to be. So I want some textures here on a nose. So I'm going to paint some textures on a forehead. And then I want some textures here. I'm going to paint there. And then I want some textures this side. And then I want some textures this side. Even this side. Yeah. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the teeth and eye whitening. I do have a video about teeth and eye whitening. I'll put it in the description. I also put the teeth and eye whitening action in the description where you can just download it and use it. So I'm going to go to my actions and then I'll select the teeth and eye whitening action. I'll open the folder and then I'll select the photo filter adjustment and then I'm going to go to my tools. I'll select the brush. I'll set the foreground color to white since the layer mask is black. And then I'll set the opacity at 100%, the flow at 100%. And then I'll start whitening the eyes. So this is our before, this is our after. So if you feel like the effect is too much, just go on the filter and then you reduce the opacity. I'm going to reduce it to 75%. I'll close the teeth and eye whitening folder. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make this dark skin to blend with this skin. This dark skin here to blend with this skin. I'm going to go to my actions. I'm going to select the macro dodging and burning. And then I'm going to open the folder. Then I'm going to select the dodge. I'll go on my tools, I'll select the brush, opacity at 100%. I'll change the flow to two. And then I'm going to start dodging. So I'm going to place R on the keyboard so that I can rotate the photo. I'm going to place R on the keyboard and then escape to go back to the normal mode. I'm going to go to my actions here. And then I'm going to select the dodging and burning checker. This, this one is going to guide me where I'm supposed to do the dodging and burning. So I'm going to zoom it in. I'm going to place R on the keyboard. Then I'll rotate it B, brush. And then I'm going to go to macro dodging and burning folder. So I'll speed up this process. I don't want to bore you with this process. So I'll speed it up. So it's our before, so after. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the global dodging and burning. I'm going to go to my actions. And then I'll select the global dodging and burning. Then I'm going to go to the global dodging and burning folder. I'm going to open it. Then I'll select the dodge. I'm going to enable the dodging and burning checker. I'll enable it. And then I'll select the dodge. And then I'll dodge the brighter parts. And then I'll bend the darker parts. So let me disable the dodging and burning checker. So these are before, these are after. So these are before, these are after, these are before, these are after. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to add the lipstick on our lips. I'm going to add a new layer here. So I'll sample the color from my lips. I'm going to add OT on the keyboard and then I'll sample it. And then I'll change the flow to 100%, the opacity at 100%, and then I'm going to select the brush, and then I'll paint on the new layer that I've just added. I'll paint the lips. So I'm going to go to blending option, and then I'll select soft light. So this is our before. So after, so if I want to change the color of the lipstick, I'm going to go to this circle and then I'm going to select U and saturation. And then I'm going to clip this U and saturation to the, to the layer that we just made. Let's name it lips. So I'm just going to click on the U saturation layer and then I'm going to right click and then I'll select clipping mask. And then I'm going to go to these sliders. Let me go to the U and then I can change the color of a lipstick. Let me just go maybe 35 and then saturation 35 and then lightness 25. So this is our before, this is our after. 
So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to dodge the lips just a bit. So I'm going to go to my actions and then I'm going to select the dodge. I'm going to go to my tools, I'll select the brush. I'll reduce the flow to two. And then I'm going to go to my actions and then I'm going to select the bend and then I'll bend the darker parts of our lips. It's our before, it's our after, it's our before, it's our after. The next thing that I'm going to do now, I'm just going to color grade the image. So I'm going to go to my actions here and then I'm just going to reduce the reds in this photo. So I'm going to go to my actions and then I'm going to select reduce reds. So let me zoom out. So this is our before, this is our after. I'm going to reduce the opacity to, to 15%. So this is our before, this is our after. And then the next thing that I'm going to do, I want to go to my actions and then I want to select the light contrast. Let me zoom it out. So this is our before, this is our after. I'm going to reduce the opacity to 40%. This is our before, this is our after. Let me zoom it in. So this is our before. All the adjustments, this is our after. So I'm going to go to my actions and then I'm going to select image pop. And then I'm going to open the folder. On this curve layer, I'll just double click this side. I'll double click here. And then it's going to take us into our blending styles. And then I'm going to go to underline here. And then I'm going to break this triangle apart. I'm going to hold Alt on the keyboard. And then I'll drag the other part of the triangle to the right. 200. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to this layer mask. And then I'm going to invert it. Control I on the keyboard and then I'm going to use the brush just to paint back the parts that I want to stand out more. I'm going to go to my tools and then I'll select the brush. I'll set the flow to 100%, the opacity to 100% and then I'll make the brush a little bit bigger and then I'll just paint this out before, this out after but I'll reduce the opacity 20% is our before, is our after. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go on this circle and then I'm going to select color lookup. And then I'm going to go to load 3D LUT, load 3D LUT, and then I'm going to look for my melanin skin tone pack. And then I'll start with the uh, melanin tone one. Yeah, this is the one that I'm going to go for. This is our before, this is our after, this is our before, this is our after. So I'll just reduce the opacity just a bit. The next thing that I'm going to do now, I'm just going to sharpen the image. So I'm going to hold Control plus Alt plus Shift plus E on the keyboard. I have uh, a visible stamp layer. I'm going to go to my action. In this pack, there are three actions which you can use for sharpening your image. So I'm going to select the image sharpening. And then it's going to ask me how sharp I want my image to be. I'll reduce it to 0 0.1 and then I'll start pushing it up 0.5 and then I'm going to click OK. Now I want to sharpen the eyes. So I'm going to go to my actions here and then I'm going to select the advanced sharpening. I'm going to reduce the radius to 0 and then I'm looking at the eyes and then I'll start pushing it up. So I'm going to go to 3.0 and then I'm going to click OK. So the layer mask is black. So it means I need to paint back the effect where I want it to be. I'm going to select the brush. And then since the layer mask is black here, I'll set the foreground color to white. And then I'll just paint. And then I'll just dab here like that. And then I'll move to the other side. And then I'll just click once like that. So this is our before. This is our after. This is our before. This is our after. I'll zoom it out. We are done. So, if you want to retouch fast and level up your retouching skills, you should check out my retouching actions pack. The link will be in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when I put up my next video, you will be notified. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.